Hi everyone, I'm chewing at my lip here, wondering what I'm doing. Uh, welcome to Rosemary's Kitchen. Rough puff pastry, rough puff pastry. So easy, I know you can buy it, I know you can, and most people do these days. In fact, I hear even the very famous Mary Berry of, uh, of what is it, fame? Um, Great British Baking, my sister's reminded me, Great the Great British Baking so it does not make her own rough puff or flaky pastry. There is a difference, by the way. But in fact, she actually uh, buys it, but I don't. So I'm going to just give you a close-up of this. The recipe in the book is for just eight ounces. It calls for eight ounces of flat flour and six ounces of butter. But actually, I double it. And then when I make it into a ball, make it into a dough, then I cut it in half and I'll keep half in the fridge. I'll use the half to make all my delicious pastries and things. And then this one I kept for us here. So you can, it would be helpful if I unwrapped it completely. I'm thinking this looks a bit strange and a bit wet, this dough, and it shouldn't look that wet. But of course, I just wrapped it in film and I've kept it. There we go. And... Here it is, and I'm just going to show you, I don't know if you can see, it's like lumps of butter in there. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just a big dough ball. It will be in a minute anyway, because I'm going to dust it in a little bit of flour. And I'm going to flatten it a bit with my hands, like so. Now, here is another something that we didn't have when I was young these wonderful inventions that they have now. So, okay, so I'm going to make it into a rectangle. So you might want to start off with a that sort of a shape to it. And I'm going to take this flower, put a little bit on there, there. Uh, sprinkle that on there, sprinkle a bit here. Look at these things. These are my nice rulers. And uh, I've got different colors here. You can get these on, um, Amazon on the internet or a good baking shop but they are a certain thickness and I do believe that these are a quarter inch thick if I think right so you just put them there like this and like that and again I'm going to put a little bit more flour on here and we're going to roll out the puff pastry now be careful when you make this to only roll it one way. We're not going to do this, we're not going to do that, we're just going to roll it up and down, pressing lightly if it gets a bit sticky. Uh, that's also to the good. Okay, whoops, and it is a bit sticky. But let's keep this in mind, keep that there like this and I want it to be, when I'm when I've fully rolled it out, I want it to be about, I don't know, 16 inches long by who knows how wide, they eight, eight, let's see, I'm afraid it's been sitting for quite a while in the fridge, so here we go. And you notice I'm only rolling up and down. I'm not rolling side to side, smoothing the edges, keeping that there. This when you're rolling out regular pastry, these th these rulers are really good because you can, you know when it says in the recipe, roll out to quarter inch or all of that. Well, you roll out until the rolling pin is level with your ruler and then you know you've got it to that size. So. That's roughly it. Okay, rough puff pastry. So I don't know, just take a good look at that because you can see that nice marbled effect and that's what you want. You want it nice and marbled and streaky. When you roll it out, it might sort of develop little air bubbles. I'm going to fold that half, one third of it up there like that. I'm going to pull this down. Oops, fold that up a little bit more. I'm going to Pull this down and level it out. It's very pliable. And then I'm going to do the same with that. Now like that. 
to make an envelope. I'm going to give it a little half turn, a bit more flour on the bottom here. Now normally what I would do is I would actually wrap this, um, wrap it in film, in cling film, in this plastic wrap and I would keep it in the freezer. But, I'm, but because I'm going to freeze this pastry, I'm not going to worry about that. It's easier to roll it out and it's easier to maintain if as you're rolling it you keep the butter as cold as you possibly can, you keep the pastry as cold as you possibly can. Let's put it there like that. And we're going to do it again. You can see it's getting easier now to roll, it's not quite as sticky. And I'm being very careful not to press down too hard on it because I don't want to squish those lovely air bubbles because the air bubbles, the air bubbles are what will pop that pastry and give it all those lovely, wonderful layers that we have. So again, about 16 inches long uh, and you can see it's, it's about the thickness of this. So that must be about, I don't know, a quarter inch or maybe it might be three quarter inch. Doesn't matter. You get that nicely there. We're going to fold it again. So one third up there. You can get better videos of this. I know we're going to put ours on YouTube, but you can get better videos of it, but they're not nearly as pretty as me. Oh, okay. So we've made an envelope and you can see now we're creating layers. So there's the envelope and just a little bit more flour on the bottom again. All right, and then we're gonna turn it. If it's a bit sticky, don't be afraid, don't use too much uh, flour on this. But again, I'm gonna put my nice rulers in place because this is about the width that I want to keep it. So that's, this is now we're doing its third turn and you can stop if you want once you've done the third turn you can stop because it'll give you nice lots of flakes when you make this pastry you have to remember the best way is to have an extremely hot oven so you're looking at 400 degrees if you've got a fan oven if you don't if you just have an a, a sort of a regular older oven you might want to put it up to 425 but keep an eye on it now I made this is my second batch I made a double batch of this you see so the, the first batch I made I made some cream horns if my sister can get off of playing with her games and things she might like to get out would you like to get those those, we call them pasties, and I don't know what you call them in America, but we call them pasties. So I made some cream horns, I made some vanilla slices, which is this pastry, and you cut it into rectangles. It's in the freezer. Thank you. So you cut it into rectangles, and um, that was this thing, quite nicely. And uh, cook it, and then split it. No, it's in the top, top one, look. You cut it, you split it. When you've cooked it, you, it rises up nicely puffs and you split it and you either fill it with a nice pastry cream, which again is in the recipe book, which I made. Are you sure? No. The top of the drawer of the freezer that right. you always forget exists. So. All right, so we're going to give it now its third turn. Can we have the camera on here? Happy giving left. it its third turn. And we're folding it again. What am I looking for? Excuse me. Yeah. There. So we're giving it its third turn. Okay, I'll show you those in a minute. <laughs> it's always wise to know what you're looking for when you're going into the freezer, right? <laughs> so okay. I'm giving it a fourth turn. This is enough. Then, when it's on its third turn, if you only want a third turn and you can't be bothered to do it anymore, see, remember, after each turn, 
I put mine in the freezer for half, freeze, uh, refrigerator for half an hour to chill off again because the butter can get a bit sloppy and it's good to keep the butter firm. And you wouldn't need to use so much flour either. Okay, so this is the fourth and final turn for me. You can keep going, you can do another turn. But if you overwork the pastry, you'll end up with tough pastry. So don't overwork it. Overworking means rolling and rolling and rolling and pummeling and pushing it and kneading it and all of that stuff. So we're going to sort of just keep going with this. This is the turn. I don't know if you can see that, but there are air bubbles in there. We have to be very careful not to squish those air bubbles out. The butter is a little soft because I'm not a tiny bit more pastry on it. I know you think uh, flour on it. I know you're thinking is that too much flour, but it really will be fine. There's not a great deal can go wrong with this if you follow the rules. And the rules are you need at least three to four turns and you need to keep the pastry as cold as you possibly can. And only roll it one way, as you can see. I'm going up and down, up and down. Okay, lovely and uh, this will be beautiful and of course I've got a whole lot of family coming to uh, Thanksgiving in a few weeks so I'm going to freeze this okay I think that'll do and then here we go we're going to again fold again that way and press it we're going to fold that way and to press in, I'm going to put some little flour on there and you have a very nice parcel and if you look carefully you can see lots and lots and lots of layers going in there, you probably can't see it at the end, I'm going to close the ends up a little bit. So this goes in the freezer, I'm going to wrap it, get me some cling film here. I'm going to wrap it, I'm going to freeze it. It'll freeze for up to, I don't know, maybe even six months. Puff pastry doesn't last that long in my house, but it's all it is is butter, flour and water. So very easy to make, the easiest thing in the world once you know how. Don't be frightened by it because when you see puff pastry or flaky pastry, things that have been made with it, Oh my goodness me, they look really special. So don't be scared. We were talking about this, weren't we, the other day with my, uh, with my lovely assistant to solve the camera, Karen, and we were saying that so many things do look. See, I made these. I made four of these with my, and they're filled with cheese and onion in there. When they bake up, which hopefully will be nice and fluffy, we'll send you a photo of those when they're all baked up. I made, I made four of them. I did different, two, two work with one edge and two with another edge. You can see those. But that's this. You can make anything you want with them. These are frozen. We're going to have two tonight for dinner. So we might shoot you a picture on Facebook showing you what they look like and of course we also want to know what they taste like. We've also got plans for these because we're going to take them, we're going to cook them and we're going to take them to the beach and watch the sunset one day. So all right, we make sure this is nicely wrapped. I'm now going to put in a plastic bag. It will go in the freezer ready for me to make, I don't know, meat pies, um, beautiful crepes cream pastries filled with all sorts of delicious goodies. It's You can use this pastry for anything at all really and it's a great pastry to use. As I say you can freeze it and it's very very easy to make. So all right so we shall see you next time in Rosemary's Kitchen. In the meantime have a very 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 blessed day.